Yo. I was wondering yeah. if you could talk to people now about trauma because there are so many um, – perhaps, you know, misconceptions of things. People seem to think that there's a more, there's an entirely objective standpoint when it comes to what trauma yeah. is. But yeah, if you have yeah. a definition or kind yeah. of your experience with it. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Um, it's a good question. And it's one that I would love to just educate everyone in the public about, because I think there's a lot of misconceptions about it. So the first thing I would think most people think of when they hear the word trauma is they think that means um, someone tried to kill me. Like a trauma is a situation where my life is threatened or I feel like I'm going to die. And for sure, that's traumatic. But that's not what trauma usually looks like. Trauma usually looks like, my favorite definition is um, Peter Levine, who's one of the like gods and gurus in um, trauma work, is um, his definition, which is trauma is any situation where you feel profoundly helpless or lose your ability to cope. Mm. And when you use that as your definition, and that is sort of the lens through which I see the world and through which I see all of my clients is through a trauma lens. And every clinician has different lenses that, you know, modalities that they subscribe to that they believe, that, but that's mine. The trauma lens then makes me sort of look for where in my life, your life, so whoever I'm sitting opposite, is there a sensation or a feeling of helplessness mm. and that I couldn't, my hands were tied, I didn't know what to do, I felt stuck, I felt trapped, I felt powerless. Um, and then you can have the ability, the inability to cope. And then sometimes <clears throat> you, you can, and you can cope through it or you just sort of robotically go through the motions. But most of the time we lose our ability to cope. And so when you think about something like um, your mom's cancer diagnosis, um, mm -hmm. losing a job, um, there's just like things that you don't normally you wouldn't normally say oh when my mom had cancer that was traumatizing or when um the plane had a lot of turbulence and i thought it was going down you don't you you don't normally attribute the word trauma to that and a lot of times i think people hear the word trauma and they're like oh that's for the big shit that's yeah. for like assaulted in an alleyway you know yes. like rape and you know m you were mugged and that kind of stuff <clears throat> yes but the but so what i always say is like take that and what you would assume someone would feel from being raped in an alleyway or whatever and apply that to how they're feeling about their parent getting cancer or themselves losing their job. Mm. And you'll see the same shit, which is fixated thinking where you just think about the problem or think about the situation, flashbacks, running it over and over and over and over in your head, that trapped suffocating feeling that you can almost feel physically of, I can't help you know, my mom, I can't help myself financially because I just lost my job. Mm. The same feelings come up physically, physiologically, and mentally and emotionally in all of those situations, even though if I said to you, oh, dude, I'm deeply traumatized by my mom's cancer diagnosis, most people would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like, she feels sorry for her. Like, she's the one who's in the trauma, not you. Mm. And we dismiss and we do this comparative suffering bullshit where we minimize yes. our experience and we make it the fucking pain Olympics where it's like, oh, no, yeah. you get the gold. You get the gold because you have it worse than I do. <laughs> Most but traumatized. Like, exactly. Like, yay. Yeah, yeah, well done. Congratulations. Like, who, you worked hard. <laughs> exactly. Who wants to win that? I mean, some yeah. people do have that pathology where they, they do enjoy that, but that's a whole nother like, segment. But that's anyway, another part so of trauma. <laughs> That's, that is another part of trauma and some people really identify with it. But most of the time, whenever I encounter someone in like our first or second session, then they start telling me about stuff from their childhood or last year or whatever. I'm just like, bing, bing, bing. Mm. I just see like trauma, 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 trauma. And then I might say something like, it sounds like that, um, that experience was pretty traumatizing. And they're like, and I get this face. Like, yeah. I wasn't assaulted. I wasn't tortured. I'm not a POW. What are you talking about? That's a bit, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a bit of a heavy word there. And I'll explain profoundly helpless and lose the ability to cope. And then they're like, oh, well, if that's the definition, then yeah. Mm. 